Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my great collab with two wonderful women that I'll tell you about in just a few moments. But first, the collab is about my five favorite lippies and blushes for spring. But before I get into that, I'd like to tell you about my two wonderful collab partners. The first is Donna of Donna's Mature Life and I'll link her video below. I hope you go to her channel and subscribe. She's absolutely wonderful. She's this beautiful brunette, kind of boho looking. She likes the big long earrings. She's really getting more grown up in a very cool looking way. To me it's one of the best ways us more grown up ladies can mature, which is being a little more boho, a little more free looking, and she has that totally down. She's also vegan, so she has wonderful videos about being vegan, shopping vegan. She took us to Target once, which was really fun. She's also cruelty free in large part. I'm not sure if she totally is, but she really cares about animals and so she has a lot of wonderful cruelty free makeup options. I also love that she shares little bits about her life. Recently her son left for college and she experienced the empty nest and it was during one of her makeup videos and she was just really talking in kind of a heart to heart way about what that was like going through the empty nest and it's something I think we as moms can all identify with. I hope you'll visit her channel and subscribe. My second collab partner is Kathy of Kathy A Beauty and she is amazing. She's this beautiful woman who's about our age. In fact I think she may have passed the big 6-0 which I'm going to get there in a few months. I'm there with you Kathy but she has great makeup sense she's very good with tutorials but the thing that is truly amazing about her channel is these docutorials and you really need to go and sit and binge watch her channel in my opinion in fact the other day I was doing that with her and I saw one of her docutorials on Kevin Aquan who is one of my favorite makeup artists ever bless his soul. It was just amazing. It started when he was just a baby and it went up through his life and explained his struggles and you really got to know more about him and more about his brand. Absolutely fascinating. And ladies, since makeup is one of our big hobbies here, it's great to learn more about the makeup brands and I hope you go to Kathy's channel and subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, I hope if you're not a subscriber, you'll go ahead and subscribe and click that bell. That will just notify you of my future videos. They're mostly on skincare, aging, that kind of thing, or as I call it here, getting more grown up together. Okay, let's get down to this. First, I'll show you the lipsticks that I'm really loving. The first lipstick that I'll show you is this wonderful one that I have on right now. And this is one of the Clinique Chubby Sticks. And if you haven't tried these, they're absolutely wonderful. And this is in the color Mega Melon, which as you know, I'm more of a pink or fuchsia kind of a gal, but it is always nice for us to have a good coral or a good orange color that goes with our outfits that have more orange in it. And this shirt, which I got at Express recently, does have orange in it, so I do use this melon color. Color. I'll show you how it looks right here, although you can see it on my lips. There it is. Just a wonderful little melon color. It's wonderful for spring or summer and gets us into those brighter clothes. Taking off my lipstick to show you the next color, and this is another one of my favorites. In fact, I've been wearing this at work all week long. These are Urban Decay products and they are in the color Lady Flower. Here's a wonderful little cream lipstick and a lip pencil of the same name. In fact, I just got the lip pencil on sale for $10, which makes me happy. There is a look at that wonderful little fuchsia lipstick, and I'll put it on my hand right next to that melon color from Clinique. And as you can see, it's got a little more of a fuchsia shine there going. I'll go ahead and put it on for you. I absolutely love this. So there is how that lipstick looks. And I always take a little bit of the lip pencil and just draw out the lip line a little bit. That's how that looks. And I really, really like these Urban Decay lip pencils because I'm noticing that they really stay on a long time. What I like to do is I like to put them on before my lipstick, do a lip line, and then fill in with a liner because it does last all day and it gives you a great base to your lipstick. Another lipstick I'm going to show you is another Clinique lipstick and it is in the color Plum Pop number 14 and here it is. I absolutely love these little light rose colors and I'll go ahead and try that on for you. I wear this one a lot too. There's how that looks. And it's a beautiful little rose colored lipstick. Here I'll try it out on my hand here. It's actually a little creamier than the color before. This color has a little bit of a frost, the Urban Decay, and this is more of a pure color, which I really like that wonderful looking rose there. Very, very pretty. And these Clinique lipsticks feel wonderful on your lips and they last a good long time. 
Now I'm going to show you a couple of little wonderful nude colors and the next one is a Milani lipstick and it's in the color Dolce Carmelo which is number 27 and I'll go ahead and try that out on the back of my hand so you can see how that looks and I prefer darker nudes I am really not into the super white kind of concealer looking nudes I really like a nude that is my lip color which as you can tell my lips are rather dark so I'll go ahead and try that for you So there is that Dolce Carmelo and the Milani lipsticks are very creamy and they last a long time. And what I like to do with this one is I like to put a little gloss on top. As you know, I'm a little bit lip challenged so I'm always trying to make my lips look just a little bit bigger and a little bit plumper. And this is the Pillow Plump from Hard Candy and it is called Sexy Mother Pucker and it's in the XXL formula. You just pump it out. I just put a little bit in the middle there and that little bit of lightness in the middle just makes your lips look pillowy and plump and it also has a wonderful little minty feel to it, a little bit of a tingle there and I think it really makes your lips look just a little bigger. This next lipstick is a L'Oreal lipstick and it is called Varnish Rosewood. It's a cream lipstick, it's absolutely beautiful and I learned about this from Penn Smith on the channel Penn Smith Skincare. There is that, it's absolutely beautiful, it's a rose colored nude and I'll show it to you here and it looked absolutely lovely on pen and as a matter of fact she was showing this line of lipsticks which is fabulous there it is there kind of a brownie rose nude I was listening to her video about this line of lipstick um, on my way home from work one day and she made them sound so great that I turned around on the way home and went to Walgreens and got the lipstick thank you pen for that so there's how that looks these are fairly long wearing formulas but they're also very rich and creamy and they feel wonderful on your lips. What I like to do is again pump up the center of these lips and I'm using a Bite Beauty product called Pink Pearl. I've really been loving this. It's a little bit frosty, a little bit pearly. And I just put that right in the middle there and as you can see it just plumps out that bottom lip, makes your lips look fuller and more inviting. Now you can't do spring lippies without looking into beautiful spring blushes and so I'll go ahead and show you five of my favorites. The first one is this Flower Beauty Blush and Contour. It's called the Blush Bronzer Duo and it's in the color Gloriously Golden. Take a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. My favorite color. In fact, I'm wearing that right now and although it is fuchsia, for some reason it does not go on as highly pigmented as some of my other fuchsias and so I really really like it it gives a beautiful natural glow and this bronzer is absolutely beautiful too just a beautiful natural little bronzer which looks wonderful under one's cheekbones that is not the bronzer I have on right now because I'll be showing you that in just a few minutes I absolutely love Flower Beauty products it's a wonderful brand which has a very high-end feel now my next favorite blush is Milani and it is in the color Dolce Pink and take a look at that absolutely beautiful beautiful blush it has a little bit of shimmer to it but not bad at all and it is a great color because even though it looks kind of pink kind of fuchsia-ish it also has some of that coral in it so it's a very versatile blush and I can wear this blush with my pinks and fuchsias and also my coral lipsticks highly pigmented stays on your face all day now this next blush is absolutely beautiful and this is more if you want the neutrals or the coral colors this is an Ulta blush in the velvet blush line here it is and it just has a beautiful coral color going very very natural if you can see that and it is in the color honey bunny and these Ulta blushes are very highly pigmented but they spread on very naturally and they stay for a good long time this is a wonderful natural looking blush now no spring blush wardrobe would be complete without a wonderful cream blush Cream blushes on us more grown up women look very natural and very radiant. They're very easy to sheer out for a natural look or you can put a little more on for a dramatic more colorful look. And this is the Clinique Chubby Stick in the color Plumped Up Peony and there you can see it there. It is absolutely a beautiful radiant shade of blush. Kind of sheared out on my hand so you can see how that looks. It gives you just a little bit of shimmer 
which gives you that gorgeous, youthful glow. My last blush is actually not a blush at all. It's a wonderful little bronzer. It's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, and here is how it looks. I ordered this from Octoli. I saw some other people using it and absolutely loved it. It comes with this beautiful little brush right here, and it is actually the bronzer that I have on. However, what I like to do, and what I did this week earlier at work, is I had a very neutral lip on, and I had a very dramatic eye, so I used this actually as a blusher. I used it sort of under the cheekbone and then pulled it up a little bit used it in all the areas that you would use a bronzer including under the cheekbones and along there and it just gives you a wonderful natural looking sun-kissed glow now these are actually eyebrow products and I wanted to finish with these I was sent this product from Octoli and it is the Estee Lauder brow multitasker and I have to admit that I did not love this product I love the Estee Lauder makeup in general but I really was not a fan of this product it does have a nice little tip on it but I did notice that when I used it on my brow it really was not very pigmented and it did not last a long time I was really just not that jazzed about this particular brow product but it brought to mind that I wanted to update you on my brow products and my thoughts about them at this time earlier I had told you that I really like this elf brow pencil it's only two dollars but one thing I noticed as I was wearing it and I probably wore it for a month and a half is that I would put it on in the morning and then by the afternoon the color would be almost not there anymore so I'm really not as jazzed about the elf brow pencil as I was earlier but in the meantime I found this wonderful brow stick that I absolutely love. It's the IT Cosmetics Brow Power and that's how it looks and basically it is again the type of head that I like which is a wide head and I used it to make these brows here. You can see I've got good looking tails there. <laughs> I have good looking tails but the neat thing is these last all day. They look very very natural and they do stay on so to me it's worth it to spend a little more than the elf to buy the IT Cosmetics because not only does this brow pencil look good it stays on all day long. Again, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. I have a wonderful video with some very inexpensive hair extensions coming, and they are absolutely beautiful. They're being dyed right now to match my hair, and I'm excited to show you a video where I take out my existing hair extension and put in the new ones to kind of show you what you can do if you'd like to add a little volume to your more grown-up hair. And before I get into the thought for the day, I'd like to thank my two collab partners, Kathy of Kathy A Beauty and Donna of Donna's Mature Life, and I hope you'll go check out their channel and subscribe they're wonderful women okay let's see what God and the universe has in store for us today I'm going to be using these life loves you cards from Louise Hay okay let's see what we need to think about Ooh, I love this I follow my joy I follow my joy with little footsteps in the sand how appropriate your thoughts influence the kind of day you'll have name three ways you could make today even more enjoyable than you thought it was going to be Oh my, I love this card, and I particularly like it because it puts the power in our hands, ladies. For so many years, I thought, you know, I wonder if I'm going to have a good day today. Well, now I wake up in the morning and I say, Beth, are you going to make it a good day today? And you know, I have this older gentleman who's been a friend of mine for years. His name is Andre, and always when he left anyone, including me, he would say, make it a good day make it a good day make it a good day and in hearing him say that I realized that we all have the power in our lives when we realize that we can make our day a good day so ladies I hope you'll make this day a good one I hope you'll make this week a great one and I hope you'll make your second half the best ever take care see you next time